I'm a senior level designer, but now I need to learn Figma to even get a job. Yes, this is a very interesting Reddit post on our Figma design. And I'm gonna read a little bit of this post and I'm gonna give you my take. And it's not a take that you would assume perhaps from me. And I'll tell you why. So first, I've been in the design industry for 13 years and the design agency I've been at for almost six years is closed. Now I'm on the hunt for a new job in my industry. Now, apart from the oversaturation, one thing I've noticed is that most hiring teams want applicants to be proficient in Figma. I've never used Figma. Wow, that's amazing, right? In this day and age, not to use Figma. What do they use? Well, let's find out. Uh, or at least I've never had the opportunity to use it. It was never required of me in my field until now. Now, in my experience, I've always designed websites in Photoshop. Wait, what? Photoshop and then sent them off to devs to build them or built them myself in Webflow. Now, most of you are thinking, I'm probably just gonna spend the rest of this uh, video just talking crap about this person, but no, I'm actually gonna look at some of the comments and I'm going to address those comments. 13 years experience does not make you a senior level designer. If you've been spending the last six years using Photoshop, then you've been still designing at a beginner level. <laughs> You have little to no field experience in components, auto layout, design to systems, tokens, proper de dev handoff, etc. Okay, if you've been spending the last six years using Photoshop, then you've been designing at a beginner level. That is completely incorrect. Um, there are people who can use Photoshop. I include myself. I can use Photoshop to design a really spectacular looking UI and also one that is very functional. This is what we used to do. and. Really, if we were to compare just the pure visual aesthetic capabilities of Figma versus Photoshop, Photoshop is way more capable because they have raster editing built right in. Not every UI is comprised of solely just vector graphics. So this idea that you have to be a beginner because you're not using modern UI tools is complete bullshit. Secondary, you have little to no field experience in components, auto layout, design systems, tokens, proper dev handoff, et cetera. How long does it take to learn something like that? I would say your ability to be a great UI UX designer or pretty much any type of digital based designer has about a five to 10% max to do with your tooling. It really has to do with your eye and your creative process and your ability to create really nice, aesthetically pleasing solutions that are also usable UX. Here's another comment. If you aren't proficient in Figma, you're not a senior designer. Wow. Whatever you do, don't tell anyone in any interview that you use Photoshop for UI design. I actually kind of agree with that, but for a wrong, a different reason, because a lot of the interviewers are going to make the false assumption that if you don't use something like Figma, then you're not a UI designer. Yes, this person needs to learn how to use something like Figma. Don't get me wrong. But this idea that they're not a designer because they don't use Figma is absolute BS. It blows my mind that you can design websites in Photoshop, but more so that you've not had developers despise you for doing a handover to them in the form of a PSD. I haven't designed a website in Photoshop since probably CS1 when you did it with slices and built in Dreamware. I, I was there too, I did that as well. Photoshop lacks components, styles, variables, percentage base widths, and a number of other requirements for a developer-friendly handover file. Okay, so once again, we're going back to the same topic. This person perhaps worked with an old school front-end developer who does not need to be spoon-fed all that information. Um, and you know, it might be actually a really cool video for me to demonstrate that process and what that process looks like as being somebody who has designed in Photoshop a long time ago and can still do it and also handle the HTML and CSS just to show you, you don't need all of that stuff. You don't necessarily have to have it. Now, of course, there are many arrangements, especially in this modern day and era where you do want them because you have developers who rely on that stuff and you're working within the context of big teams. But the gatekeeping, of some of the people who responded to that person is just insane. You would think that they were sponsored and paid for by Figma. And trust me, I'm a huge fan of Figma. I've never made a bad video about them. I use Figma all the time. I'm gonna be creating a whole massive Figma course myself, but we have to be honest with ourselves. When it comes to this type of stuff in the creative field, 
Tooling is about five to 10% of the battle. The rest of the battle happens up here and how you apply your skills creatively and effectively. So anyhow, I just wanted to make that rant video. I, we're gonna be continuing on with a lot more videos. I took a, a little bit of break the past week, but we have some fun stuff coming up. Make sure to subscribe. That's my rant. I'll see you soon, bye.